Is it recording? Yes, recording. Let's start. Hey, long time no see. Have a dust to my camera A7 III for a long time. And it's been quite quiet time now with me and the camera. And right now, I don't know if you can hear from my voice, I'm pretty sick. And I have been very silent about shooting for myself for youtube again and everything being like really busy in my own personal life but it's not included with my camera but i was just announced the greatest news ever i remember when i bought my first camera the panasonic gs5 it was the best thing that had ever happened to me that time was my first camera ever that I wanted to really make films and just do something and out of nowhere I decided that I would buy a camera and I will make a company someday maybe and everything happened like I planned I have a company I bought the GS5 uh, I made some music videos I made a bunch of dance videos all kind of stuff you know and everybody knows Panasonic they don't have good out of focus it doesn't work only in some cases good lightning and short time you're shooting with the automatic focus then it might work yeah but okay it sucks everybody knows that and I think also that that you don't need that unless you're like doing this kind of stuff that you're moving around and I want uh, <coughs> autofocus track me all the time. Okay, so I have now a7 III. I love this camera. It takes wonderful photos, it's really great photos and low light is good. I'm just putting it uh, 10,000 ISO. I don't know how crazy is this footage now. Uh, you can just comment it below. What do you think guys? But it's really dark here. There's some lightning coming over there with the lights and natural lightning over here from the window. Okay, I made that footage, the other room. It wasn't that great. Uh, I was just looking from the camera. The video how it looked like, it looked a bit too dark and too grainy and the colors were a bit off. But I've been using also an outside scenario, 10,000 ISO, still looks good in different situations. But you have to have some kind of light. Otherwise, it will look rubbish. In any camera you have, it doesn't look... Okay, maybe A7S III. But yeah, where was I? Yeah. So, Lumix announced something that everybody been who's using Lumix cameras been waiting for, like, I think years. Almost a decade. And the S5, I almost changed it. Changed my A7 III to S5. I was also looking for somebody who wanted to switch. They wanted to have an A7 III in my lenses and if I can get their S5 from Panasonic and his lenses or hers. Didn't find anybody else who would have S5 to want to switch and everything. But amazing thing happened that Panasonic announced the newest camera. It's coming out this year, really soon. And there's even two different models, Panasonic S5 Mark II and Mark II X. And they have the pace, autofocus, that one that everybody been hoping for, even everybody says that we don't need it, who's using Panasonic. Professionals use always manual. And I think the same thing that if you're planning a shoot and you have time for the shoot, you don't need that AF automatic autofocus uh, uh, one reason is that you get lazy the way you film you're not planning too much you're just pointing and shooting I've been there I made with GS5 video uh, one dancing video fully manual I had to plan it where I started shooting and where I end it and how I use the gimbal and the camera yes gimbal and manual shooting um, focusing it didn't matter it, it it was so awesome the video everybody was hyped about it everybody told me it's great work really professional and it looks so great 
and then I use this A73 with another dance screw and of course I, I never use it as a manual focusing this camera N never just <laughs> always automatic because I used to it and everybody sell it on it uh, they sold it um, this camera because the autofocus is good and blah blah blah. I, I think it get into my head that when it's Sony, it's autofocus. When it's Lumix, it's always manual focusing. Two different worlds, you know. So I made that <coughs> autofocus video, the dancing video, and all through it was also amazing. But there was missing some magic what I had in the other video when I was manual focusing. And that one is really big like learning for myself that I don't want to get like lazy on filming. I should get better and excited more than uh, the more I learn. There's no reason me to film anymore if I don't want to get better, you know, and, or if I lose the touch or the uh, hype about filming some projects or anything. So that one is really good that Lumix new cameras, they're going to have Autofocus, if you need it, you will use it. Or if you want to be more like planning the shoot, you shoot with manual and you make it a whole different kind of video out of it than using autofocus only. It's going to be so good. It's going to be more rich, you know? And of course, every camera that has good autofocus, they have also manual focus. That's no problem. But just some reason I didn't feel like I want to use A7 III for other focus and uh, manual focusing okay now we're in vlogging mode i'm using right now samyang's 18 millimeter and i love this thing it's not the best lens at all it's one of the worst but it's cheap and the other focus in good lightning is supposed to work pretty good so yeah so i get so hyped i almost wanted to have the original S5 but I didn't so this came up and they changed the autofocus finally and man there is also 6k and on the X version there's even more video modes there is even so high big uh, megabits like 600 megabits in the video side files that they have on the X model that right now I feel like I don't need it I don't even want to know how my computer will lack on trying to edit the videos of that kind of sizes but in future I will buy a new computer of course everybody has to uh, buy new computers in in time so a couple hundred euros more I will get the better version a more future version of the S5 Mark II so I, I need to really like think about it and when it's announced i want to watch all the reviews that people are going to um, try it out and see how it goes and everything uh, 4k 60 is going to be crap always because for me personally i don't i don't think it's a big issue for me because uh gh5 it was already crap sensor everything was like cropped so i get used to it that you just have to move backwards or forwards whatever so that one is i understand what people are complaining about it but it's okay for me i'm not that much of a complaining about that thing and about the 6k mode what i found it's really interesting when you put it on 3 3.2 the video size and you can make vertical videos easily you don't have to flip your camera like this to shoot vertical videos you can just do it like in post that it were and it works so well how they show it in the reviews what i watched that one get me excited because i'm making tiktoks also if i want some instagram stories about videos or whatever you know it's much more easier i like that 6k part there and everything and also the image quality of s5 is much more better than sony's i know if you're you don't think 
the same like that A7S3 or A74 and blah 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 that they are better than this S5 Mark II even the original S5 I think the image is just more richer it's more filmic more like not in this world you know not too digital looking that's what I like about Lumix cameras that's what I like so much about GH5 so many things what I filmed I thought it's filmed with the like high-end uh, cinema camera it, with the good and right lightning and situation it looks so good and yeah I know it's not about the camera it's about who's filming and about the lightning and everything but a bit it is also about the camera how the image is going to process in the camera so that's what I think and so yeah I'm super excited and even I get excited even I'm not going to have the camera for many months yet uh, hopefully for this year at least <laughs> I'm going to shoot videos now more with my a7 III and thinking also should I keep my a7 III mm, yes I will use it only for filming even it's even better photography camera the S5 Mark II than my Sony A7 III uh, my Sony A7 III it is better uh, the quality is better the colors are better everything is just better I think what I seen in the internet that people are publishing their photos from S5 no it's going to be better it's just more like you know this Canon photos are always it's Canon Canon it looks great always but now this Lumix after this S1 and S1R and S5 now those photos they are like coming to look like this Canon style it's like you recognize them uh, it's going to look so it's so much better but yeah S5 Mark II is going to be my main camera I'm not going to use it on a gimbal just handheld I'm going to rig it up and handheld shots I'm going to take because that uh, what is this <laughs> Because the handheld footage is so great with that camera. Stabilizer. Oh, stabilizer. The footage is so stable when you're doing it handheld with the S5 Mark II. So you don't need to worry about gimbal. And only few parts. Yes, I would use a gimbal if there's some running, like really running and doing some stuff. But I like it more like simple camera in your hand you are choosing the movements you're going to make for the film and it's more like leaving the video than just straight few pointing and going one that, that direction and blah 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 even gimbals can do also many good great things but but I think my gimbal is going to be less in work and more like I'm going to just use gimbal for my a7 III until I will get the second body of s5 mark ii and that camera is like something i've been dreaming of that even i didn't know it's going to come ever but that is just something that i'm going to like okay so sorry i sound weird i'm tired my eyes but i wanted to make a video about this i get excited and i'm going to now rest a bit i hope I will get well soon I will film more videos I'm just going to make a bunch of videos and I will edit them and I hope you're going to enjoy those and more short films it's going to be in Finnish but if you want when I make my short uh, like movies if you want to subtitles could go to be in English I can do that also but comment below you can watch already some videos I made there on Finnish language but if you dig them, if you like them, if you are somebody who doesn't speak Finnish watching this video, let me know. So in future I will put the subtitles in English. And the next movie is going to be, uh, I think, yeah, we are going to make some kind of comedy movie with a few actors. And I hope it's going to get great. We haven't planned it yet. I don't know the idea yet, uh, but we are going to plan it together. And until that time, um, I will make some kind of film next week. I think it's going to be 
about yeah next week i'm going to make another video let's see what it's about i don't know yet because my head is ding dong ding dong thank you for watching i hope if there's anybody who's uh digging the lumix cameras and uh, panasonic let me know comments below if you're going to think about this camera also or you can also talk to me about um, if you don't want to purchase it or if you have sony why sony you dig more we can just have a little chat and i wish you all well and happy new year and this year is going to be awesome thank you see you bye